is up, Quo Quo? Welcome back to Goosebumps. Last episode, we started the game. Going from school to our house. But finding it transformed into something from a horror movie. But as you can see, we've got all the paths we can take. We're going to enter the mansion in his dead house. You sip your key, house key, into the lock and cross your fingers. You turn the key and the door opens. Maybe it's your house after all. You pull open the heavy door and enter the house. I want to Google something real quick. Uh, either I'm thinking of the wrong Goosebump story, or this is the right one. Welcome to Dead House, it's published with Sav, the basement, and what's the blood? This is the first book in the original Goosebump series. From the show, I, 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 it's just bugging me now because I know what the name is. Oh, uh, the House of No Return. Is that even a book? Is that just an episode? Oh, uh, it's a short story. It was the only tales to give you goosebumps seems to be published by itself. Huh. Pull open the heavy donut to your house. This is a fact that not your house. We would never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. You hurry across the foyer to the dining room. You step into the dining room and spring back, immediately noticing a woman at the table. She eyes you intently, like a hawk searching for prey. across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, Crow. Come give me a big kiss. This is Crow. I never noticed that. <laughs> you hesitantly walk to the woman and lean to kiss her wrinkled cheek. It's clammy and loose. It smells like dust, mothballs, and some spice you can't quite describe. That's better. Now your Aunt Dahlia put a glass of prune juice, your favorite, down the hatch. No thanks. I'm not thirsty. Oh, is that any way to treat your Aunt Dahlia? Your mother warned me to look after you today, and you're already misbehaving. Mom sent you then, what's the password? The password? I think you're a little old to need a password. Your mother can trust you to pick out a stranger, can't see? 
You know what? I can pick out a stranger. You put some distance between the woman and yourself. You're a stranger. Leave me alone. Hmm. I'll be waiting here when you learn some manners. That's... I, I know the episode name. I think this was, I think this was also a short story, but... An old story. That's what it's called. An old story. You walk past the table into the next room. The den is where the family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. You don't want to hang out this wasn't for too long, though. to another room. Creak the door and peek through. Looks like it leads to the laundry room. You pass through to the next room. The laundry room is an oddly welcome sight. First glance it feels exactly like you left it other than an extra door. Do I just running at the moment? You check on the handle but it won't budge. The supply cupboard hold all your laundry supplies. Let's put the door open. So at least right into the backyard. We're back here, yeah. Find yourself in terms of interest in this door. It doesn't exist in your normal laundry room. No one to find out what this new room would be. Downstairs bathroom is so far from your room, you rarely use it. Since the bathroom is locked, you knock on the door. There's no response. There's something deep in the ceiling about the pictures hanging on the wall. I think it's some kind of video game console. So then you are, though. Are there enough video games in your life right now? <laughs> Step back into the dining room. Since woman is still seated in the dining room, see Adley seems to be doing great for you to strike up conversation. Her eyes are almost daring you to do so. You duck into the kitchen. The kitchen looks like a period piece of a time you want nothing to do with. You merely notice a dripping sound. You change to hear this sound of the dripping. It's so faint it would be hard to find it. So good to think of ways to make it louder. You want to track down the drip, but you need to increase its volume. You put the door open. Somebody's art project. I create a metal for ingredients found in nature. He says it looks like a tals talisman. I don't know what that's from. Maybe we can ward off some of this weirdness. You grip the handle from me and pull open the fridge! You said to take the flavor of jelly jam with you. It's a large bottle of juice. You're not really a fan. Drinking stuff like this makes you feel like an old man. <laughs> You're certainly not going to drink it. But you find yourself taking the juice anyway. Mm. That's, um. Jelly jam is like the, um. Thing from uh, Camp Jelly Jam. The whole right, Camp Jelly Jam. There we go. That's what it's called. You reach down and open the cupboard. Dark. 
the top and drop the dish up in your pack. This is looking splendid as you move left to right. It almost seems to be following you. Watching. I get your bed, desert. You pass the sponge into your bag. <laughs> The ghoul from it came from beneath the sink. Ugh. <sighs> uh. You put it in the drain, lean to the garbage disposal. There's something else down there. Something shiny! That's a good way to grab a perfectly good talisman. Whatever way to achieve the object from the drain. This is a form of these cupboards. It's hard to keep track of where you put stuff. You reach up and open the cupboard. You sip the jar of pulp of peanut butter into your backpack. <laughs> Beware of the pulp of peanut butter. <laughs> uh, that's good. Try to some sink down into the sewer. Eventually, it seems sturdy enough. You have to spin it. It turns out there's some problems you make with someone to stop. Use it as a screwdriver. Come on. This is in your. <laughs> uh. Back out of the kitchen. It's a drama associated dining. Okay, it's the same thing. You leave the dining room towards the front of the house. Oh, whoa. Yikes! Three children materialize before your eyes, which you are just rubbing in disbelief. This really is a haunted house. I said you look in the direction then she starts shouting. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of my house! Turn this not out and go away, go away, go away! See glares. Will you out of existence? Can't fool me, see grumbles. I was born on a leap here. I know things. Oh. Young man was kind as you put. I wanna hear this song, but I can't find it. He takes his foot to the cup and I say, if I look, go wake mom and dad. Oh, uh, please? He tries to get since he looks towards you. I live here, you know. I hate going into the basement. He looks really embarrassed. After a moment, he continues, you believe me, don't you? Uh, the door uh, stands to the set. You can feel strange energies around it and assume it's dark for the time being. It's a positive to ignore the dripping sound. I thought it said on the map that there was something in this room. The dryer's done. You chug on the head and the dry drawer pulls open immediately. You reach in and grab all the fuzz in the lint trap. There's no trash can nearby, so you say you drive on the floor and kick it not so lightly under the dryer. The dryer is empty. 
Oh, who's in the dryer? Did you step away from your safe, no more laundry room. You stand at the foot of infinity. You took the film away for safety. Maybe you'll find a camera later. Drift away. Those are the kids from that house too. You hope the situation was off soon. You never get used to ghosts living downstairs. You never see a send of stairs to rooms unknown. So I can get next to the first or second floor of the house. Little girl, maybe? It looks a little old for us to pick Who picked these out? I've never seen this portrait before. It looks like a creepy sea captain. Maybe it's grandpa before you were born. Probably not. I can't take the feeling something is missing from this painting. Show up the stairs into the first hallway. You stand in the upstairs hallway, which is relatively untouched. A familiar family portrait. Photographer. Bleh. Photograph. What? Photograph! Dear God! Comforting. Not for me right now! You always thought this idea was a bit spooky looking for a bit to the stuff you've seen today? Not anymore! <laughs> Study his gloves through there. Here, where dad keeps the family computer. Dad says it's locked, like it always is when he's out of town. The keys should be around here somewhere. There's not even a lock on the door, but it's not opening. It feels like someone's on the other side holding it set. In the bedroom, the second set. I won't open. I was right, it is annoying when someone locks your bedroom door. That door leads into the guest room, but something is blocking the door. So now first step you rock back backwards down the stairs. You turn at the top of the stairs and across the landing. The hallway creases over the entry downstairs to the furthest reaches of the house. Weird, normally this hallway ends with a hatch to the attic. The door opens, but I felt some effort. The frame seems a little warped. Okay, of course, has locked the master bedroom. There must be some important stuff in there. Yeah. Pass through into the next room. Dodging a bit of fog plus as you pass through the doorway. It's just a dead end. The hats are the sins to lead to the attic. Leave the room. <laughs> ah, so stupid. Uh, Liquid. The stairs wouldn't turn off though, so there's no telling what. TV again spits across the woman's face before he speaks. Hey, young crow, come give me a big kiss. Take her back with her photo quest. You want to know what to say? You take your head. Oh, is that ever true, Aunt Dahlia? Sorry, Aunt Dahlia. That's okay, Tad. Sit down and have some prune juice. Your lover aunt saved for you. 
No thanks, I'm not thirsty. Perfectly alright. Maybe later. I thought it would actually on her chin. Rest her chin casually on her hand. Let's talk for a bit. How was school today? There's a lot going on. This is going to take a while. Well, there's this kid Brandon in my English class. He used to be okay, but lately he's telling people things that aren't true. You remember on for several more minutes. It's like, if that's how you feel, just tell me to my face. I don't have time for all the drama. Got to have a sympathetic ear. You begin to confide in Aunt Dahlia. I just want to be taken seriously, you know? It's so hard at this age, but... After a very thorough dissection of your social circle, you realize you haven't given Aunt Dahlia any time to interject. You assume if she had anything to add to you speak up, you continue. So Valerie, the girl who always wears hats, we had art together last year, but lately, time passes as you talk, and you notice Aunt Dahlia is starting to nod off. Her eyes are half open, and she's not really focused on you. No reason to step while you're on a wall. You keep talking. Do I begin to the first subject that comes to mind? <laughs> Your voice echoes strangely down the adjacent hallways of the otherwise silent house. <laughs> Your story is really interrupted by a loud, sharp snort. I thought he's asleep. Snoring, in fact. You weigh your options. You sink lower, carefully not to make a sound. There's no telling how deeply she's sleeping. We have the woman's uncomfortable gaze. You turn your attention back to the room. Now, where were you? You have to play Jimmy off its pegging higher up among your things. If I stop by and open like a pair of headlights, she looks at you suspiciously, but assumes her calm demeanor before long. That is with the f okay. Check the phone with a safe keeper. Maybe you'll find a camera later. Okay, fine. That is the cuckoo clock of doom, okay? The cuckoo clock of doom. There you go. I brought it up before. I'm not gonna read this all again. <laughs> That's good. I'll see what happens when you drink it. You sit down here, place and lift the glass to your lips. It smells thick, thick and dark. You hold your nose and take a large gulp, hoping to finish it as quickly as possible. If burns as it slides down your throat, suddenly your muscles tight and exhaustion creeps over you, and your vision blurs. You feel colder. So this hunt and your testing close to the table. A respiness grows in your lungs for every breath. You think it might be nice to take a nap just for a few minutes. Just close your eyes and look up at Aunt Dahlia. <laughs> She's laughing. You go old, there you go. <laughs> no reason to step on your water wall! <laughs> Be careful not to make a sound. You lean in front of Dolly and pour the bottle's contents into a glass. She awakens of a start and assumes sipping her glass as if nothing happened. After several steps, Dolly realizes something is wrong and begins coughing. Looks like the purple prune juice works both ways. <laughs> what did you do? 
She collapses on the table, clung towards you. You little punk! How dare you! And a slight hissing sound slowly building from deep within the woman. Foster the ground begins to melt out of existence. Nothing remains in no place except a small cassette tape. Just a on the table for easy seating. <laughs> you take the cassette tape. Now you just need a way to listen to it. <laughs> uh. The dining room feels empty, it felt Aunt Dolly in it. Like the house gaping maw, eager to swallow you whole. Oh uh, well, you admitted it, not me. Drip, 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 drip. Back out of the kitchen! Oh, I almost went right back into the kitchen! He's one of those spooky children that shop out of nowhere. He wants you to prove he used to live here. The giant is an old boy much younger than you. You guess seven or eight years old. I don't quite know how this girl got here. She doesn't seem at all happy to see you, though. He takes the envelope, eagerly confirming his name on the address. He tears it open, winked and closed out with much interest. As he reaches the end, the ghost looks at you and smiles. He seems to be at peace. Just as suddenly as he appeared, the child fades out of view. You feel his presence leave the house gently. A moment later, the door, basement door unlocks with a resounding click. You can't be sure, but this looks like an undeveloped photograph. You've seen the photo kids at school of similar ones. You carefully take the photo paper and slip it safely into your bag. With some hesitation, you turn the knob and open the basement door a crack. Do you really want to go down there? <laughs> oh, that's good. That That's good. That's good. That is just really funny. You peel down into the darkness of the basement and force yourself to descend. The basement is dark and musty. Sweltering heat builds as the furnace kicks on. You don't want to be down here any longer than necessary. This terrifying iron creatures that immobile gets <laughs> breathing cold and coughing smoke. You can feel the heat from here reaching towards you, taunting. It's a handy swords closet. It's not locked, so those sides open easily. You start to step right into your pack. You take the hanger out of the closet. It's a little too big to fit in your pack. You can open and take things from inside it, though. 
Is that just a stand-up flathead screwdriver? You reach in and take it out. I go to this book and these are just painted on. What? It's in the vice. It's offers more resistance than you'd expect it. As you turn it, a panel slides away to a hidden passage. What's of old Halloween stuff? Travel to the vents and crawl through the passage. You do whiff away. Alright guys, that's enough for this episode of Goose Bumps. Next time on Goose Bumps, we will finish up that house, alright? See you guys then. Like I said, I'm trying to have a sum of episodes for this. It all must be according to plan. That's a YouTube joke. Watch YouTube. Watch an Among Us video. That's what I got from. It was hide and seek. Not saying who. That was a surprise. See you guys next time.